Hello everybody, hope all you are doing well and uh, you're noticing I'm sitting in my bedroom uh, we're gonna do yoga in the bed or use our bed uh, and try to uh, understand that you can't use anything as I did before with the chairs you can use walls and uh, bed is gonna be excellent too so I understand we're going through the quarantine. We we are uh, really have challenging time, but it's understandable. Uh, so with the uh, practice of yoga, you're calming your nervous system. I would suggest that listen to the music as well if you can, because when you're listening to the music, it also cool you down. And uh, just let me know if you liked the video. And as we usually do, if you either like the video when you see the video, only one video is enough for the attendance. Uh, you can do this one or the lecture as you wish. So uh, let's practice the yoga. And after this, I'm going to shut this off. You lay on the back in Shavasana. After the Shavasana, if you want to listen to the lecture or listen to it later on. So sit upright and start rolling your head. And opposite direction. Side to side. Up and down. Now keep your arms extended up away above your head or back of your chest, shoulders down, and face is relaxed. As you're closing your eyes, take five deep mon monster breaths. So you can feel that inhalation deep, exhalation deep, and hold it for five seconds if you can for each breath. Inhale, or just count as five, four, two, three, two, one, one, two, three, four, five. Breathe in, breathe out. Good. Now keep your hands behind your back like we usually do in the class. Bring your fingers down behind you. Biceps are forwarding, facing the front. Raise the chest, back bend. Hold for five breaths. Make sure you're breathing to your rib cage, front of your rib cage. Good, release that. Now, I might go a little bit farther away. My voice might get a little bit, you know, because I don't have the microphone, my voice might change. So please uh, be aware of that. So what we're doing is after the back bend, you're gonna go forward to the child pose. You can do the child pose with the buttocks back, arms forward, shoulders down, away from the neck. We're gonna stay here for seven breaths or bring your hands behind your back of the chest, elbows walking forward. Good. Now come on to all fours like we usually do in, in the class. Arch your back, looking up. Round your back, exhale. Repeat a few times. And go ahead to raise your left arm up. And bring your head shoulder inside. Top arm fully stretched, buttock back, like we usually do the curve the needle, take five breaths.
back it up to all fours, raise the right leg up, look up, knee to the head, round your back, repeat a few times. Hold the leg up, arm strong. Bend your knee, push away from the mat. Release. Let's switch to the other side. One, two, three, four, five. Hold it up, arm strong. Knee to the head, push away from the mat. Good. Keep that knee down and raise the right arm up. Look up. Then bring head, shoulder inside. Thread the needle. Top arm fully straight. Front leg back. Now, coming back to all fours, move your hips side to side, look to the opposite way, feeling that uh, hip flexors, hip bones. Now, keep your body down all the way, with the palms down, and keep your legs fully engaged, like doing the locust or half snake pose. Just lift it, soft looking at front of your fingers. You can also, my bed is a little longer, so I can keep my palms down to the bed. Lift the chest, soft eyes looking toward the hands. Make sure you're breathing. Just notice your breath, no thinking. No thinking involved, just breath. Just follow the breath to cool down your nervous system. I want you to keep the left side of the face down and walk your fingers to the feet, shoulders to the buttocks, and extend the legs behind your back toward the back, the headboard. Stay here and take five breaths. If this is hard for your head, you may rest the hand, uh, rest the head to your one hand, the other hands fully stretched to the back. Good. Now coming back up. Now let's do the snake pose one more time. Elbows behind the chest. Fingers are pressed fully to the into your head and walk your legs back further extended. Now you can do this on the floor too if you like. Uh, my my bed is firm, so it's not squishy. So if you have a squishy bed, use your you know underground. Same, same alignment. Either you close your eyes or just soft looking toward the tips of fingers. Good. Let's put the other side of the face down. Right side of the face, walk your shoulders to the buttocks. Walk your legs back for the extended. And stay here for five breaths. Or rest the head to your right elbow. Right hand, walk your left arm behind you toward your foot. Uh, I better talk so my face is not down. So your arms fully stretched behind you, shoulders are toward the buttocks.
Very good. Now, come on to the back to the child pose. Take your buttocks to the heels if you can. Arms behind your legs. Rest the forehead. Or rest the hands under the feet, bottom feet on. Resting your arms forward, shoulders back. Stay for seven breaths. Very good. Now, uh, coming back, we're going to do the dolphin pose, elbows down. We're going to raise the buttocks, stretch your legs fully as much as you can. You may look to the, toward the heels or toward your knees. Back of the neck should be passive. Good. Now, I want you to step with your Left foot forward between your hand, or right foot forward between your hand. And keep your knee over your ankle. Put your hand to your back, face the right side. Stay your razor arm up, up forward toward the sky. Or hand stay to your back. Take a few breaths. Good. I want you to turn your right foot. To the right side, bring your body to the left side. Stay with the arms straight. You want to feel that buttock and your quadricep and the hamstring. If you can go lower with the elbows down, that will be a little bit uh, more challenging for those of you who are not flexible. Stay up with your arms straight, as I showed you. So stay here for five breaths. Very good. Now, let's go back to that uh, dolphin pose one more time. Elbows down and fingers down. If, you, if it's hard for your shoulder, interlace your fingers. Tuck your toes in, make sure your feet are hips apart and raise the buttocks. And if you want to work your legs more, uh, lift the kneecaps, engage your calf, quadriceps, hamstrings. Good. Back the knees down, and go ahead with the right foot, uh, left foot forward, knee over your ankle, right hand stay in, face the left side, stay or raise your arm up, or hand to your back, face the shoulder or toward the wall. Good. I want to turn your left foot to the left side. Take your body to the right, uh, right side. Straight the arms. Stay here. Or if you can, keep your elbows down like we sh showed you before. I'm going to move back a little bit so you can see my arms. So your elbows are down. Stretch the quad, hamstring, quadriceps. Good. Let's turn your feet facing the right side. Bring your hands behind your legs or keep your arms down this way with the back straight. Work your buttocks, work your legs like we usually do in our class. Lift the shoulder blades up toward the buttocks. Stay for seven breaths.
Now, let's turn your left foot facing the front with the hand outside the foot, inside the foot. We get knee down to the left side. So we're gonna do pigeon. Keep your body upright, chest lifted, or bring your hands behind your back, and back bend, chin up. If you wanna work it more, grab your back over your leg, kick back, head up. Good, bring your body down. You can rest the head to your hands, forehands, and the other variation will be fist. You can rest the head to your fist. You can use the yoga block if you have one. And now, on the back leg, I wanna press my toes down into the bed, lift the kneecap on the back leg as much as you can. If that's hard for you, arching, your foot is arching and you feel uncomfortable, Keep your toes in, lift the kneecap this way. Your heel are pressing to the backboard. So we're gonna stay here for a few. Other variation will be if you want, work your arms behind you, rest the head to the sides. So that's that's another variation. Good. Let's do a downward dog, and we're going to do the other leg. Stay for five breaths. Good. Step with the right knee forward toward the right wrist. Get the back leg stretched. Raise your head, chin up, back bend, or grab your leg behind you if you can. Kick back with your heel and toes toward the back. Lift the head. Good. Bring your body down again, same action. Reset your fist, forehands, pillow, block, and raise the back of the knee up on the back. Try to keep your hips square as much as you can. Stay for five to seven breaths. Let's go one more time to the down dog. Fully stretch the arms, raise the sit bones higher toward the ceiling. And five breaths. Forward with the left foot, turn your feet facing the same way, parallel with your inside feet, and stay down here with the elbows, or grab your ankles one more time to the wide leg pose. Try to keep your back stretched, not rounded. You're not rounding your back, you're not collapsing. Even if you have bent knees, that's okay, but keep your back straight as much as you can. Now, keep your right hand on your shoulder, bring your hand to your back, face the left side, chest up, stay or raise the arm up, fully stretch. Go ahead, release and breathe. 
with the usage. So bring your arms into the legs, allow your back of the neck to relax, and move for a few breaths. Make sure shoulder blades are lifted toward the buttocks, toward the ceiling. Now go through your hands to the on your shoulder. Slowly bring your feet together a little bit, not too much. Sit down with your sit bones. Keep your left leg forward, right knee bend. So I'm going to show you maybe this side so you can see me better. Uh, so your left leg is fully extended. Grab your big toe. You can you can also use your uh, strap. If you don't have the strap, use something towel or something. If you cannot reach it, kind of top just up. Bring your head back. Arm extended. This way, toward the ceiling, behind your back, so whatever works for you. For those of you who, are, who have more flexibility, bring your left hand inside the foot and grab the outside of the foot with your right hand, turn the head up towards the bicep and stay here for a few breaths. Okay, back it up. Now, you're going to keep your right hand behind you. Make sure your toes are fully extended. And it's just on the left side. Lift the chest. And do the twist. Four, five, six. You can also use a hand, cut a gentle resistance between your head and the neck. Good, release. Let's spread the legs and take a breath. Let's do one more inhale and exhale. Very good. Let's do the other side. Now you're gonna keep your right leg bit, uh, left knee bent, right leg straight. Grab your foot, big toe, heel, whatever you can grab, or use a strap, like I said before. Turn the bottom to the top chest, head back. Turn the top chest upward toward the ceiling. Keep your head centered. So a lot of people do this stuff. I want you to keep your neck long. You can run your hand behind your neck. So your neck is lined with your spine. And that's the rhyme. Neck is lined with the spine and that's the rhyme. Get it? I'll stretch this way. Or you can go to the variations like we did the other side. This is fun stuff, so you better have fun. These are the moment of peace, mind, body, and the soul become one. Good job. Now come back up. Bring your bottom feet touching. And I want you to keep your heels out a little bit. So the heels, uh, you're creating kind of diamond shape between your legs and knee. You have the option of having rest in your forehead to your fist, so your back is rounded, all, all the tensions are released. So let me show you from the side way. You can release your spinal cord here with the rounding your back, resting at your fist, or you can run your hands inside the legs, resting it. You can also use block between your heels. Let me go grab a block and I come back in a second. I'm back. So you can use the uh, block between your feet if you have a block. For those of you who have tightness to your back more, block has three sides. You can use the long side of the block, 
uh, mid size block or flat size. So resting it, let me show you from the side again. Hands inside the legs or behind your back. Very good. Now we're going to counter that by pushing, uh, pressing your hands behind you as the fingers facing your back. Shoulder wing is pushing to the back of the chest. So inner shoulder wings pressing to the back of the chest. Press your feet together as much as you can. Raise the buttocks. Hold for three breaths. You look to the belly or raise the head a little bit, but don't drop your head too far back. Stay for five breaths. And release. Now, grab your feet and see if you can bring your knees down, chest lifted, head back. If you have an okay, uh, okay bed, you can sit in, spread the legs, lift the head up. Then let's move, let me do this three. And keep your head up, straight the back. Again, if this is hard for you, just stay with your feet together, bring your head back, chin away from the chest, or spread the legs and do the same thing we did before. So that's another variation, right? So let's do the twist. I, I believe we didn't do the other side. Let's turn to the other side, lift the chest, keep your toes active. And for the safe, being safe, I'm not sure if I do the other side this way or that way. I'm going to do the other side one more time. So I'm going to turn and twist to this side. And go release that. Now, spread the legs, point the toes upward toward the sky. Move your buttocks away from each other, grab your feet, big toes, body forward. You can also have the hands this way with pointed toes up. So let me bring this feet a little bit inside. So the legs are fully engaged. You see my toes are fully expressive, not soft, not relaxing. They are active. So that way my inner thighs, the inner groin are active as well. Also, you can use the block. Those of you who have tighter back on the forehead or on the face down on the shoulders or the deltoid muscles. Now, so we can stay there or so if you want to go a little deeper, bring your knees up, turn your palms upward behind your buttocks. So the biceps are in, drop the knees down, rest the head. So I'm going to show you from the back so you can see me from the back side. There we go. Let's come back up. And we're going to do two more side, and then we're going to do something on the floor. So you keep your right leg forward. And left knee bend. Bring your arm up to the Janu Shikshas and the head to the knee pose. Grab your foot or use your strap. Make sure your back stays straight. 
long and with the spine and bring it to the post. Show you from the side as well. And release. Let's do the other side. Keep your body. You can always do breath as we usually do. Inhale, exhale. One more, inhale, exhale. Now keep your body forward with or without the strap. You see my back stays straight as much as I can. If you have a tight hamstring, bend your leg a little bit. So it's not hard for your back. Stay in for five breaths. Back it up. Now, we're going to uh, do some balance poses so to change the position of the camera probably. We have to work with this a little bit. So what we're doing is uh, we're going to go in with the back straight here. So I'm going to show you from this side a little bit. Uh, I better do it this way. So you got to keep your arms straight this way, buttocks back, and stay the back. You have the option with the hands wide and the shoulders are wider if you need to, or bring your hands to the back of the chest, shoulder blades. Good, back it up. Now, I'm going to show you from this side so you can see my back a little bit better here. And just stretch your hamstrings. You want to uh, probably stay for five breaths. Also, you can use this block between the inner thighs to engage your inner thighs, the adductors. So uh, let's go back in here. Your inner thighs holding block this way. Your feet are parallel to each other as the block apart. So you can do the same thing, same action with your blocks. That give you more action your hamstring in your thighs. And release. I'm sure you're enjoying it right now. You're probably feeling a lot of fluid. Um, blood flow to the body, because now a lot of things is happening to your body, nervous system coming down. So this is the, one of the uh, great way to use these poses, especially when we are more at home now. Uh, play nice music, the music that you like. Uh, probably uh, see the video a couple times, so you get a little bit of memory of it. Then kind of like playing it with the music, if you like. So the other one, uh, what I'm going to do is we're going to do the one-legged uh, half moon pose. So you're going to keep your right leg behind you, extended, opposite arm stretch this way, 
Take that. Push it back to the back. So keep your arm up on this side. And release it. Breathe. One more. Opposite side. So bottom leg stays straight, toes facing the bed, and the other leg facing the toe where your face is. And remember, back foot fully stretched, toes are spread, heel engaged, ankle engaged, skin of the foot engaged. Other variation. Very good. Now, you can do the stretch this way. You gotta keep your left leg down. Let me show you my foot, maybe hopefully I can show it this way. So my foot is staying on the ground, facing the bed on the left side. Other leg stays facing up with the toe. If this is hard for you, bend your leg this way. So you can go forward with the body. So remember the leg on the bottom stays straight, body forward toward the leg. And I'm gonna adjust this camera again. I'm the director and the producer and starring the movie at the time. So let's bring your foot up, body down toward the leg, point the toes toward the ceiling on the right leg. Or go forward more for those of you who have more at opening. Good, back it up. Take a breath. Let's do the other leg, I just say. Remember your right foot facing the floor, facing your bed straight, not crooked. And bring your opposite leg up, body forward to that leg, and I'm going forward. Shoulders back. Body variation will be on behind your back. This is more, you know, this is more advanced stuff. So don't do things that hurt you. And come back up. Okay, a lot uh, now. We're gonna do some shoulder work. So keep your body upright and bring your left arm up. Bend the elbow facing the ceiling on the left side and opposite hand fingers grabbing or you can use towel or the strap behind you. So your back stays straight, right? If you want to work the legs more, uh, sit, keep your left knee bent, keep your right leg over, so you're sitting into your heel and doing the pose. This is a little bit more for intermediate advance. Eyes closed, take five breaths. Good. Release. Take a breath. Let's do this set. You can sit at the edge of the edge of the bed, doing the same thing, right? Using a strap behind you or towel or fingertips, or you can keep your right knee bent, left leg over. I'm gonna sit. Step you take and see my hands behind me, and. Make sure your center of your buttock should be center of your heel sitting. And let's do the focus. Eyes closed. I believe this arm is.
Very good. Go ahead and release that. Now, you may stretch your legs. Extend your legs forward. Put your body forward. Grab your feet. Rest the head to your knees. And again, you can bend your knees. Those of you have the tight hamstrings. I'm going to stay here for a few minutes. And go ahead, back it up. Got to lay on the back. You got to keep your left leg knee bent and right foot on top of it, bringing it together this way. Or run your hand instead of the leg. If you can, grab your foot or use a strap. And bring your up, up the knee out if you're doing this, if you're stretching your leg. Good, release, and let's switch. Other side, you can do it this way, knee to the chest this way, or inside the legs, knees to the chest or the belly, or like we did the other side. Having fun, hopefully, these are the most dynamic poses that calm the mind, Calm the nervous system, it creates blood flow to the entire body system, and release. Now, keep your, like we do with the happy day pose, wrap it from side to side. Bring your feet together, raise it to your knees, over to the toes, shoulders down, or knees, raise the head to your knees, relax your toes. Good, let's lay in the back, we can keep it under the you. Bring your knees to the left, cross your leg if you want, or knees together, look to the right side. Today is beautiful, sunny day, so I'm looking out the window, it's cloudy a little bit and sunshine in Arizona, Scottsdale, Arizona. Good, release, take a breath. Switch, you may look to the opposite side. And release. Now, you got the option of laying on the back, legs are relaxed. You can use the block in the back of your head or use the pillow, not the pillow, uh, something that is a little bit more solid, not squishy. Take your arms by your sides, relax your arms to sides, walk your legs forward, and relax your uh, arms to side, palms up, or bring your left hand to your heart, right hand to your belly. And as you're closing your eyes, pay attention to every breath. So that's one option. The other option is bring your feet together and feet, feet touching knees are to the side. It's called Bada, Bada Konasana. And Bada Konasana means bounded feet together. So if you have a tight hands, uh, tight inner thighs, adductors, use the block outside your knees, but the feet are touching. So the blocks has Two, uh, you can use two sides of the blocks, flat side or the mid side, this way. Make sure your feet are pressing. Again, same action, left hand to your heart, right hand to your belly, or on the right side, or lower point for your shoulders. And you're going to close your eyes, focus on the breaths, or playing a music while you're doing your Shavasana. So I let you to be with your Shavasana. And if you're uh, from my ASU students taking my courses, please watch the lecture after this uh, or do it as uh, you're convenient. 
Hope this helps you out to stay connected to the soul. Remember, the soul is source of universal love, source of universal light, and we belong to the light and love, nothing else. So don't lose that connection. And through the breath, you're going through that connection. Have a great one. Be safe and namaste.